guys. Uh, welcome to our Zion, to Jesus Coffee Jobs for End Time Ministry. What has the Lord Jesus Christ put on your heart? Um, well, basically, um, Father Yahweh and I wanted to discuss um, basically about the end times. Um, and the question, would you like to say it, Evangelist Deirdre? Yeah, what is the question then? The question is... Where will you spend? Eternity. Where will you spend eternity? That that's is correct. Very, that's a very good question. Yes. Where, has, where will anybody spend eternity? Yes. And um, we're basically, we're basically, Father God is basically asking you, non-believers, Christians, backsliding Christians, prodigal sons, prodigal daughters, have you really thought about where will you spend eternity? Are you going to be in hell or heaven? You know, because lots of people they don't think that. They think. They are, they are, they're too busy, you know, spending their money, building their riches on earth. But what they don't know is that what happens after? What happens when you die? Where do you go? And not just that, our Holy Lord Jesus Christ, King Jesus, can come back in a blink of an eye. And the time he'll come is when you're sitting down, you're having your tea, you're having your coffee, you're out in the clubs, and all of a sudden you go out. Or, you're, or if you're eating. Or yeah, sorry, anywhere. if you're eating yeah. anywhere, sleeping, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden the stars start falling and the that, sun mm -hmm. turns black. Because that's the time of Noah when Moses, uh, so when, um, when, when Noah's, yes, when, when Noah, no, Noah's yeah. ark, yes, when, it's going to be worse than that. When Noah went out and told yes. people to get in the ark, yes. yeah? and there was only eight people on the ark, eight yes. people saved from the whole world. Yes. Yeah? So, as we're living in this worst time now, yes, we're living in the do you end think times. there are many people coming to Christ? I don't know. I don't know. You know. Yeah. At the end so, of the day. So, why do you think religions don't believe in God's Son, Jesus Christ? Why don't, they, why don't they believe that Christ died for them on the cross? Puffed up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's clarification from God. Mm -hmm. What a loving God to humble himself. Awesome. Awesome God. And man do not see that. They don't see love. You know, as being Bible-believing, God-fearing Christians, we can heal people. We can heal. Through Je from from our Lord Jesus Christ. So religious gods can't heal people. Other religions cannot heal. They can't deliver people. They can't deliver people. They can't. Basically, they can't. They can't heal the sick. And there's going to be more sickness in people because they are they are they are they are turning away from God. At the end of the day, that's my dream I had. It's real, guys. You know, it's real. Hell is real. So that's uh, when you were ten years old. That's, that's when, when I was ten years old. Yes. You went to hell when you were ten years yes. old. Yes. Um, and you know, basically, I'll read some from scripture about, okay, actually, who goes to hell? Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels, all those who sin and listen to Satan's voice, and whose names are not written in the book of the living. Also, go to this place of damnation. That's in Matthew chapter 25, verse 41. Okay, guys, roll your eyes, look at the newspaper, whatever, okay, but you can die tomorrow. And where would you go? Do you go to hell or heaven? So that's the question. That's where the would, question. Where would you spend eternity? Yes, because you leave all your riches behind. <laughs> You know, you build up everything. At least us as Bible-believing, God-fearing Christians, we don't fear man, and we certainly, we embrace death. <laughs> we embrace death, which is amazing. And can you bring, uh, can you bring like a, a church building? Can you bring a mosque? You can't bring can a mosque, bring a you Buddha can't bring a church, church, you can't bring the Buddha, you can't you know. bring nothing, you're all, you know, all going. So, okay. what, so what would Christ see when you stand before him? Sorry? What would he stand before him? What does he see? Does he see good works and good deeds? And all he sees if you believe and you repented from your sins and you lived righteously as a Bible-believing, God-fearing Christian. If, you're, if you don't have that, then you go to hell. And you, did not be, and you did not believe in God's son, Jesus, who died. Exactly. Exactly. So why is it so hard for people to, to believe in God's son? Because they're prideful. 
lies. They don't want to believe. They don't want to change their ways. They don't want to stop fornicating. They don't want to stop committing adultery. They don't want to stop partying. They don't want to stop their lavish lifestyle because they know as soon as that, as soon as they realize that our Holy Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, you have to humble yourself. But these people, they don't want to humble themselves. But when 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 they are close to dying or you know close to death, they call out Jesus Christ, don't they? So why does man want a Christian funeral? Because it looks good, maybe, you know, it, 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 it appeals to the eye, you know. At the end of the day, your spirit, if you're a non-believer, you have a, you have a, you're spiritually dead, you know. And basically, you're just, you're, you're just, you're just flesh, you're just flesh. You'll always be ill, you'll never be well, you know. At the end of the day, as Bible-believing, God-fearing Christians, we can heal the sick <laughs> from Jesus Christ. No other religion can do that. You know, and so cast, it's true. And cast out demons. And cast out demons. When, and yes. when, you're, when you are not in Christ, you have oh. the darkness in you. When you're not in Christ, you have the darkness in you, yes. So you need the light of Jesus. Yes, and I, you know, yeah. You know, I've seen God and I've been to hell. And basically, this is what it is, guys. You know, wake up. Wake up. Because at the end of the day. So this is where man will go. That's where man will go, yes. The lake of fire. You know, so what is you in die the lake tomorrow, where do you what go? You go to hell or heaven. So what is in the lake of fire? Just fire and furnace. That's it. Nothing and else. the demons, yes, and the demons, they come and drag you to hell. And you're, the, the music you're listening to, mm -hmm. why are people so depressed? Because of the, 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 the demonic forces they're putting in music. You understand? So but that's, that's because people have gone away from Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Why do they not believe in God's Son Jesus dying on the cross for them? Uh, I've just told you. Do, do they believe they have not sinned, or they, the good works will save them? Good deeds. Maybe will they save think them. good deeds will save. So why maybe. don't they believe? You know when Jesus Christ said, "I am the I way." Am. Yes. So no man has said, "I no am." Man. No man. No, no prophet has done that. No. No prophet was holy. This is God. So you all know. are sinners falling short of the glory. Yes. Of God. Yes. It, this is all going. All this is going. <laughs> Annie, in a blink of an eye, Jesus Christ can come right now. And where do you go? You go with the Prince of, because this is all the Prince of the Air. People are too busy indulging themselves, you know, and you know, it will come to that point where you're on your so deathbed and you go to hell. So why does man have religion? Sorry? Why does man have religion? Why do man have religion? Because it suits them maybe? Because as I said before, as what Father God, as what Father Yeshua Adonai is saying, that when they realize that Jesus Christ is God, all religions, Buddhas, Catholics, all of them. Yeah, because the Bible clearly says that um, every person, the whole planet, will confess that the Messiah Jesus is Lord. Amen. And they will bow before him. Every every so knee if, shall bow. So if they do not bow on earth, they will bow before him. In, of course. In of course they will. But it's too late for man. But it's too late. Let's, there's some real accounts of people dying, actually. Um, and look how merciful our God is, King Jesus when he was on the cross and all the sinners all them crucified him what did he say what a beautiful god king jesus says father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing you understand um and basically when christians die they often report on their deathbed of seeing angels Quite often, they hear the most beautiful singing they've ever heard. The closer to death, the more beautiful the sound. Because Amen. If, Hallelujah. A person, if a person is not in Christ, they won't hear the trumpet. They won't hear nothing. Well, I've just given a personal account of, of, of dying words of Christians who, when they're on their deathbed, so can you share they what see a the angels. When they die. Sorry? But I've just have, said it. Okay. When Christians die, they often report on their deathbed of seeing angels. Quite often they hear the most beautiful singing they've ever heard. The closer to death, the more beautiful the sound. Isn't that amazing? You know, um, and this is of the famous people who have died, you know. This is the real, this is real account of people on their deathbed, you know. Uh, um, okay, let's say Thomas Paine. 
1737 to 1809, the leading atheist writer in America. Okay, this is for you atheists out there. Stay with me for God's sake. I cannot bear to be left alone. Left alone. Oh Lord, help me. It's too late, isn't but it? But it's too late. It's too late. It's too religion. late. It's At too the end late. of the day. You know, you all want one, all religions for one God, but what God is that? That's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So That's what, the devil. So what gods are they worshiping? The devil. It's not, a, it's not Jesus Christ. You understand? Because at the end of the day, Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of our sins, and he risen again, and he gives us everything we want, but, what, but, what, but we choose to not bother with him, you know? So at the end of the day, that's it guys, you know. Okay. So can you just uh, round up what you're going to say? At the end of the day, come to the light, come to Jesus Christ. He is the only way, the truth and the life. At the end of the day, all this is going, it's all going, okay? You know, and even if you think that, oh yeah, you have time, but at the end of the day, God might take you tonight and you go to hell or heaven. So That's what, the big question. What, what does a man, ha a man have to do to get into A man heaven? has to basically humble himself, realize that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, and believe it. Because if you don't, if you're not honest, God will know if you're lying. And you know, you, you'll, you'll have a peace that you never had before. Instead of thinking about yourself, you'll be thinking about other people, you know. Basically, because Jesus Christ was holy. Christians, we are holy. You understand? We don't drink, we don't smoke, we, don't, we have one wife, we don't have four wives. I'm sorry, but we don't. So why does religions have four wives? It's because, a man-made religion. Because it's man-made. Because the Bible clearly says you're, you're only allowed to have one because you're still married to the first one. Yes. So, that's, so therefore you commit adultery. Yes. At the end of the day, he's above you. Remember that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is above us. We have two, we have two, we have two weathers in one day. We have thunder. We have thunder now. Yeah, we have thunder and we have sunshine. I'm telling you, you're going to be sitting on the, in the park in the sunny weather and all of a sudden it's going to start raining. That's Father Yahweh. That is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. That's his mood. It's in the weather. Wake up. So he's trying to wake up nations. Wake up. Mm. Yes. Um, also in the Middle Eastern countries, not all of them, but some of them, they're, um, you know, they don't want Christians in these countries. No. So the Lord Jesus Christ said, if, if there's not one righteous person in any nation, yeah. the Lord God will destroy that situation. Yes. Nation. If only, that, if only you would accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be delivered from sickness. Do you understand? Father God heals. He heals the sick. But everyone is getting more sicker and more sicker because they are going away from, from, from God. They, they, they don't want Jesus Christ. Do you understand? So, Do you think that maybe religious leaders are teaching them wrong? Maybe they haven't read the Bible. If you read the Bible, you'll find the truth. <laughs> you'll find the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ if you read the Bible. That's it. Okay. At the end of the day, God is above us. He's above you. So, Father God is telling me to tell you, I am a prophetess from God, okay? Okay, I am a prophet from God. So God is telling me to tell everyone, watch the weather, okay? Look above, he is above us at the end of the day. That's all I'm gonna say. Because the more we rebel, the more you're pushing God. You understand, you're pushing Yeshua Adonai. God's son Jesus, who died for mankind. Yes. So repent of your sins. Repent from your sins and humble yourself. Jesus. Call upon your name. Yes. Before yes. you die, and because, the, the yes. question is, the, only, the question you should be asking yes. is, where will I spend eternity? Yes. Thank exactly. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Tara Zion, for joining me in the Discord. And God is love, okay? God is love, but you have to fear God to get the love. Okay. Thank you. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you. Bye-bye.